We the brown boys. The brown boys. The brown boys. We the brown boys. The brown boys. We the brown boys. My brother has been saying this. This is the year of the Aquarius for three years. And I didn't know what it meant. He kept saying it's going to be the exposure. And he said that shit three years ago and nothing was getting exposed. But I was exposing people. And now you have a domino effect of people starting to talk and people starting to share their experiences. Some of your most famous people that y'all think is all great. You found out from Gilbert Arenas that some very influential people said that Halle Berry is just a pass around. These are not my words. This is what they said on the show. This is what he said. Weinstein and some other people said. I've heard that same rumor, but he said he was right there present to hear Halle Berry is one of the most revered women in our community. They got songs about Halle Berry. Every man wanted to be with Halle Berry. Thought she was a precious gem. She was just so beautiful and perfect. And then we find out some old ass white men allegedly tossed her around for a movie role. Come on, man. Nobody wants that in real life. I'd rather have the woman that work at Target, but she work hard. She pay her bills on time and she focused on something. She got a goal she's trying to achieve. She still stay in shape because ain't no man pass her around. I'd rather have that. It's funny how society sway us towards liking certain people. Yeah, the age of Aquarius. I'm sorry. It's funny how the media and television sway us to like all the things that's bad for us. Some of it feels good, feel good as hell. But that's short lived. <laughs> she can't act. You should have known. <laughs> Some of the movies, I thought she was a great actor. But that goddamn monster ball, I ain't think that was no act. I thought they was into that for real. I'm like, maybe that's what she really good at. She run an Oscar after that. If, if what Gilbert said was true and it turns out she was in Monster Ball, I know them white men was sitting back tinkle, tickle pink that allegedly that's how she got the movie role and they got her to do that on the screen for the world to see. <laughs> and they tell us black men not to objectify women. And it looked like she was sleeping with an old white man on camera in front of all of us. Yeah, and they gave her an obstacle for it. Like, this is what you're supposed to do. Make sure you do this every time. I know them white men was tickle pink. They like, boy, this brainwashing shit working. Because everybody, Boosie had a song, Halle Berry, Halle Berry. Everybody praising Halle Berry. And them white men looking at her like a slut. It's funny how that worked. So as you start to see things unfold and people start to expose certain things, people start to go to jail for certain things and you starting to see the sex rings getting exposed. You start to see everything unfolding and then Cat Williams come out. More and more athletes telling their truth about what's going on. You see how on one black coach and Dion, that's a celebrity, because I told y'all, it's certain level of people that are not supposed to say certain things. You see the way they treated Kyrie Irving. You see the way they treated Josh Giddy. Oh, that was Hurricane Chris. You right. Sorry, Boosie. That wasn't your song, but he shit, he sounded like Boosie. But let's give credit where credit is due. That is Hurricane Chris. That was a hell of, hell of a song, too. So let's give that man his real credit. That was Hurricane Chris. That was Hurricane Chris. You were absolutely right. They talk about Billy Bob Thor to hit that for real. I think I'm crazy. I snap. I think. 